Food brings us all together. It fulfills us. It's part of what defines us. It plays a part in nearly everything we do, and we want it to be great. That's what the New Wave Cooking Club is all about. Join us, and we'll show you just how fast, easy, and economical it is to make delicious meals for your family, friends, and anyone who sits at your table. In fact, even if you're a novice in the kitchen, we'll have you cooking like a pro in no time. Welcome to the club. Let's get started. Welcome back, everybody. Chef David here from New Wave, and I'd like to introduce you to our pizza kit that we designed for the Bravo XL. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the unit onto menu so I can scroll through the preset menu items. And one of them is pizza. So I come down to pizza and you'll see the temperature is preset for 450. And then if you hit time, the default is 15 minutes. The reason we did that is for frozen pizzas, but we're gonna make one not only fresh, we're gonna make it completely from scratch. So what I wanna do is turn this up to 30 minutes. And then I wanna go ahead and add our pizza stone. The pizza stone goes right on the rack, designed to fit inside. And I'm gonna get this to start preheating. There's two other pieces that come with the pizza kit. One is an authentic pizza peel with a wooden handle. That'll be very important later. And the other is our pizza wheel and spatula. So we'll come back to those. First things first, let's make some dough. It's the simplest pizza dough in the world. First thing we're gonna do is start with three and a half cups of all purpose flour. Then I have a packet of yeast, the dry yeast you buy at the stoop market. And that went into a cup and a half of warm water. And then we get this mixing on low speed. So I like to start it on low so I don't splash flour everywhere. But the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. This is good sea salt. Salt adds flavor and also controls the yeast from being too aggressive. The last thing I like to add is personally me, about a tablespoon of good extra virgin olive oil. Now what we do is we're gonna let this blend but in the meantime, I made one earlier to show you. So let's start with that. So this is the one that I already mixed before and I allowed it to proof for about an hour. And I actually proofed it into Bravo XL. And the reason why is that I can set this for 100 degrees, perfect temperature for proofing bread, doughs, all that stuff. And then we have a little flour. So basically what we're gonna do, our nice sticky dough. And you'll see the dough that I make is really loose. I don't make a stiff dough. And the reason is the results. The results will come out much better if you have a little more water than the average recipe tells you to. Now, the fun with this is it is a little sticky to work with, but you can add extra flour on the top. And I like to use these. This is called a pastry scraper. It's basically like a second hand in a kitchen. But if you can see that, how soft this dough is. And that's exactly what we want in our pizza dough. And I'm just going to give it some good knead right here and try to round it up into a ball. And this will give you pretty much enough dough to do two homemade pizzas approximately 12 inches long. And that's it. Now you see after adding a little bit of the flour, my hand doesn't stick anymore. So we're gonna take this, and I'm gonna let this one rest for another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna roll it out into two different pizzas. And we're gonna make one for you in Bravo. Welcome back everybody. So now we're warming up or preheating our pizza stone in the Bravo while I made the dough. Now, I've got a couple here that we finished and I'm gonna show you at least my technique of how to roll them out and I'll try not to get too messy. First thing we do is you wanna get a lot of flour, not only on your board, but actually on the dough itself. Now we're not gonna do anything crazy like throw it up in the air. We're just gonna simply turn our hands, both sides like this, and get an approximate rustic sized, rustic looking pizza. And that's about 12 inches right there. And it couldn't be simpler. So very simple. You'll notice the colors of the Italian flag here, white mozzarella, red tomato sauce, green basil. This was made in honor of Margarita, the princess, and that's why this is called Margarita Pizza. Now just in case you're wondering, I actually cook my pizza sauce. Not a lot of guys do, some people leave it raw. I like mine cooked, tastes better to me. And then some fresh mozzarella. Very simple. It's a very classic but very rustic pie. This is not fancy. So we do that. And then we take a little basil. Now there's always debate. Do you put the beautiful green basil on before you cook it or when it comes out? And I'll give you the answer. I actually do both. So I know in Italy and many of my friends that are in the pizza, they always put 
the basil on first, and then they cook it. But I like to add a little at the end for color. The pizza peel could not be better. Now, all I have to do is reach around here to my stone, and that is gonna cook in about 12 to 15 minutes, and we're gonna have an amazing, authentic pizza. Welcome back, everybody. Chef David here, making homemade scratch pizza with our pizza stone inside the Bravo XL. And now it just came on to end, so that was about 15 minutes for my pizza. Let's take a look, see what we got, guys, see if we can impress my friends from Brooklyn. And I think we did one heck of a job. If you've ever had brick oven style pizza, then you'll know this is the rustic look that we're looking for. For me, I like a little chili flake on my pizza. I like a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And then we're gonna put a little more basil on here, like I said, because the other one here has been cooked and given up its flavor. So let's get a little fresh garden brightness on here with my basil leaves. We'll do one more, All right? Beautiful, okay. And all we have to do now is cut it. And that's our beautiful brick oven style pizza made on our pizza stone with our pizza kit right here in the Bravo XL. 